Fulmont Hospital in Wayne is empty. In April, the hospital put up signs in front of every door stating that the hospital is temporarily closed. Over 2,400 employees are left without answers as to why. In April, Beaumont Hospital in Wayne abruptly closed with a 24-hour notice to their employees, leaving them without jobs and to apply for unemployment benefits. Employees who were affected by it, they were, um, uh, in a lot of ways, it was a ment it was a, we were affected mentally because we, we couldn't figure out how our employer who was... Beaumont Hospital, that hospital had been there since 1956 and it's never, never closed before. So we've mm -hmm. always had that security that they were there for the employees and for the public. So when they closed, it was a kind of a, a slap in the face. Um, so we were affected mentally by that. I, you know, um, uh, it was a financial slap in the face. A lot of people um, were now having to face unemployment uh, for the first time. all very new to us. Beaumont employees are not happy with the decision at all. According to the SEIU union that they are contracted by, Beaumont is supposed to give a two-week notice of the closure. The union has been involved since before the layoff process began. We do have um, contract language that goes over the process of being laid off. Um, and um, They're supposed to give us a, a two-week notice. Beaumont is supposed to give us a two-week notice as union members about uh, the layoff. And they literally sent our, our notice out the day before the layoff took effect. Um, the, the union has stepped up. They've been very, very aggressive, uh, in, I want to say, in our actions because we're a family um, in the union. That they've really stepped up. They do have some processes uh, currently in action right now. And, um, yeah, they've, they've made, they made me proud. Due to the temporary closure, all patients that were receiving care at the Beaumont Wayne were transported to other Beaumont Hospital locations. A patient that was diagnosed with the coronavirus lost their life during the transport. Out of respect to the family, the patient's name will not be disclosed. The hospital was in such a hurry to close down that they had no regard to these patients' safety. They shipped them all out, and I say ship them out because they really did treat them like they were hot pizzas to order trying to get them DoorDash. They were shipped out DoorDash style. When they shipped them out, many of them were against medical advice stating that their health was, could be compromised if they were to be moved out of the ICU. Mm -hmm. um, but they decided to ship out anyways. Within the three-day period, all, all nearly 40 of them were, were transferred out um, to the surrounding hospitals. Um, and one in particular did lose their life in transport between Vermont and VA. And that was one of the sad story to think that that patient died without that dignity of being able to be considered as a human being and not, not a, a bottom line number bleeding out the red ink that John Fox is constantly talk, talking about. You know, the one thing that he really communicates to the employees is the fact of how much money Beaumont is losing. So it's sad that greed of a CEO could be the bottom line helping him make these decisions to, to act as the part bearer. John Fox, the CEO of Beaumont Wayne Hospital, stated that the hospital was converted to accept COVID-19 patients only. Since the pandemic appeared to be leveling off, we did not need the Beaumont Wayne 200 beds. He said that the hospital has done their share of treating a number of COVID-19 patients. Fox also states that he received approval by the Licensing and Regulatory Affairs for them to temporarily close. He says that they will continue to work with Laura to determine when they will reopen. You know, because the pandemic is leveling off, how a CEO can make that decision during the pandemic. It's not like Governor Whitmer hadn't, hadn't declared the pandemic over. We're still being quarantined. We're still staying home. Um, we're still essential and non-essential workers. And, you know, so who... Frankly, who is John Fox to make that decision to close the doors of a hospital to the public during a pandemic? Our demographics for Beaumont Wayne is 700,000 people with the surrounding communities. And we, we serviced 50,000 of those last year. So that's 50,000 patients that Beaumont turned their back on, closed the doors, kicked 
out their employees and just shut down in the middle of this this condition that it's, it's just unthinkable and fathomable that he would do that or how he could do it. A former employee took pictures of the inside of the facility that's located behind the hospital that was full of new and unused personal protection equipment. This is the same facility that Beaumont Wayne requested approval from the City of Wayne Fire Marshal to use as a makeshift morgue, in which that request was denied. As a patient access specialist, we register patients, check their insurances, uh, make their appointments. Um, we cover the surgery center, the emergency room, outpatient testing, radiology labs, x-ray, stuff like that. I was actually recalled um, along with about seven other um, out of the 33 employees in my department. Okay. Um, we started back last Tuesday. A lot, and um, I, I don't know exactly how many people out of the thousands were called back. I, I heard 40 was around okay. the number that were called back. So it's, it's very, very low. Before, before John Fox was the CEO, we never had any of these issues. When it was Oakwood, it was a wonderful place to work. We felt respected. We felt like we had um, our, our, our uh, code of conduct was being observed and practiced every single day. It was just a mm -hmm. great place to work. Now that Fox took over and it became Beaumont, it's changed so much. Um, mm. It's just, it's not, it's not a good place to work. There's a lot of hostility. Um, I, I myself am experiencing hostility and intimidation tactics and uh, harassment um, since I've returned. So um, it, most of my department is experiencing really, really dangerous working conditions now. Not just mm -hmm. my department, but everyone in the ER is being overworked. Um, there's a lot of staff who have no idea what they're doing. We were all thrown on different shifts from what we're used to um, and job, job positions that we have no knowledge or very little knowledge of. So there's, there's an emergency room with a lot of staff who are doing things that they have never been trained to do. And hmm. there's, this, there's safety issues with that, not just with, with the staff, of course, but with the patients. Now the med staff that's been working, the normal ER med staff has been absolutely phenomenal with the care that they've been giving. It's, but like I said, there's a lot of employees there who, who are prone to making mistakes. I myself have not worked in the emergency room in years. So my knowledge of, of the emergency room process was was forgotten. And I've been telling oh, okay. them for the last three years, I need a refresher in the emergency room in case I've never needed over there. I've, I've never received that refresher. So when I was oh. called back, they said, you're gonna be in the emergency room. And I said, okay. Um, and I was also finding out that there was many other um, changes such as nurses being put on desk secretary positions, um, uh, the painter is now working as a desk secretary in the emergency room. Uh, just a lot of different people who did different things are now doing new things without training. Be active in the, the quarantine, stay at home, go out only for essential stuff, wear your mask. Don't put yourself at risk. I know a lot of people are, are talking about how it's the rights not to wear that mask. It's not difficult to put a mask on, just be safe. Um, and if, if you're not wearing a mask, social distance. Um, and if for Beaumont, I, I think my, my words would be, um, if there is a second wave, be a hospital, be there for the patients and for the care of the patients. Don't ship them out to temporarily pause services. Um, be safe and, and consider your employees safety and, and you know, they're, they're, they're truly our heroes. They need to be treated like heroes, not like zeros. It's, it's it's the way you treat your employees that, that make them want to come back and, and, and be faithful to their employer. With the ongoing coronavirus pandemic, thousands of employees from Beaumont Wayne has been affected by the abrupt temporary closure. Recently, the hospital reopened to accept COVID-19 patients only. There's no clear answer on when the hospital will fully reopen to all of its employees and residents of this community. Reporting from 88 First News in Wayne, Michigan, I'm Tia Nicole.